So what's going on everyone? Ella 6 here and now I'm gonna disappear. But before I do that I'm uh, gonna show you guys my color correction settings because most of you have requested me to do a color correction video so here we are inside Sony Vegas. This is what I used to uh, sort of quickly edit the video, you know, put the commentary, put the sounds and uh, basic color correction so today i'll be teaching you how to put the very basic color correction which works on every video it doesn't have to be a game it doesn't have to be specific game it works on every video mainly that goes on youtube and it doesn't really have to go on youtube only it can go on a few other places so right here i have the footage from uh, a modern warfare 2 gameplay and i'm just gonna put it in the timeline like always the first thing you want to do is right click on the file that is in the timeline properties and disable resemble click on that click ok this will get rid of the motion blur that sony vegas automatically adds to every video it's kind of annoying but uh, you have to remove it manually i don't know they should made it like a separate option so you don't have to disable it all the time and now after the color correction settings which are mainly done right here and uh, where i'm pointing at the mouse it says track effects and this should open up a new pop-up window you can probably see it right now and you, from this list you're gonna choose three uh, uh, options the first one is the sony color curves click on that and click add don't click ok yet still need to add the sony hsl adjust add as well and last but not least the sharpen add and now you can click ok wow finally and right here we're gonna see a new window is gonna pop up with uh, this uh, layout right here you're gonna notice that there are two rectangles in this straight line right here they're really small so you should be able to see them where i'm pointing at the mouse click and hold and while you're doing that move it a bit down just like i do right here and you start to see on the screen that the video gets a little darker and that's good that's what we're trying to do and now right here on the upper part you're gonna see another rectangle which you're still gonna move up this time and the video is gonna get a little bit brighter so once you reach a curve that looks something like this you know you're gonna notice that the video looks a bit sharper and less gray it has less gray in it and uh, most of the videos have a lot of grayness in them especially modern warfare 3 so doing this you're gonna move a lot of gray from the video second thing that we're gonna adjust is the hsl adjust we're gonna move on to the saturation uh, uh, slider we're gonna move that all the way to 1.3 or something 1.3 uh, 1.4 make uh, this what this does is basically increases the colors that the video has so if you move that all the way here you're gonna see the black and white video if you move it all the way up you're gonna see too much colors so try to balance it out uh, see what works for you for me 1.2 1.3 is the best uh, result so let's go to the sharpen which is the last adjuster and we're gonna move the amount to 0.2 don't move anything more than 0 0.2 0 0.3 because the video gets a lot sharper and it starts to mm, not get a very good result 0 0.2 is probably the best you can get and the video gets a little sharper especially around uh, you know edges you know if you can see the edges they get a lot sharper and less blurry which is what we're trying to achieve and that's most of the basic color correction that i do on every video that i make uh, apart from that guys i'm gonna show you now a uh, video which actually the same video that i color corrected just now but uh, as you can probably see on the left side uh, the video is without any color correction and on the right side the video is with the color correction that I just showed you and you can see the differences and um, this is the very basic I said this three times by now but I'm just trying to say that this is the very basic color correction which I do on all of my videos and you should probably do it on all your videos as well whether you're uploading on YouTube or you're just uh, you know trying to make a video look prettier this is the way to do it if you want more advanced color correction tutorial like uh, montage you know all those Call of Duty montages have a uh, very sort of advanced color correction and if you want that or if you want something in between you know something a uh, color correction that's between a montage and a normal video which I do on most of my commentaries uh, I'm not gonna do uh, that color correction to this video because I'm trying to show you how uh, the original basic color correction looks like not the advanced one so if you want more advanced one let me know in the comments below the gameplay that you're watching by the way is from uh, 
my uh, one of my subscribers and followers on Twitter. His name is Random X Weapons. His channel will be in the description and uh, he'll be it will be uh, annotations. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If this helped you enough, you know you can always give it a like because that helps me out. And uh, see you guys next time. Have a great day.